Okay guys, what the heck is a host pick? During the afternoon and evening parties, assigned party hosts curate the listing in the host pick showroom. Those listings can come from any closet that follows Poshmark rules. A host can share a few listings from their own closet, but the main idea is for them to share listing from other users. Some hosts spend several days before a party planning their host picks, and some just share from the main party feed as it starts filling up. A lot of hosts combine both approaches and do a little of each. That's what I do when I host. So why do I even want to get a host pick? Well, each host is allowed to share up to 100 listings to the party. So when you look at the number of listings between the main showroom, which is hundreds of thousands, and the host pick showroom, which is only a few hundred, there's a massive difference. So you guessed it, more eyeballs on your listing. It's much easier to browse through the host pick showroom because there are fewer listings and they're more likely to have good listing photos and be relevant to the actual theme. That's right, basically, your listing gets a whole lot more exposure. More eyes on it equals more chances to make a great sale. There are also usually a couple of postures at each party who will go through and congratulate each and every host pick. So you end up with lots of comments and it makes your listing look more desirable to buyers who come along later. And guess what? That host pick feed stays accessible well after the party ends. It's a great place for people to go in to buy specific brands and specific categories. And they can browse through those feeds later on for days after. So how do you get someone to give you a host pick? Well, there are a lot of tactics for getting host picks, some of them being a lot more obnoxious than others. What works for one host may or may not work on another host, so don't stress out about getting host picks too much. You can sometimes attract the attention of someone who is about to host a party by sharing a whole bunch of their listings. I mean a lot of listings. There will probably be a lot of other postures with the same idea and they will also be sharing that closet. A lot of times the host will make a listing party announcement and say that they are hosting and they're excited about their upcoming party. That's a perfect place for you to congratulate them on their hosting and then straight up ask them to take a look at your closet. Or a great way to do it is to tag other people's closets, friends of yours, to show how nice you are by suggesting closets other than your own. When I have hosted, I'll pick a couple of those postures who are suggesting other closets and give them a host pick as well. Another thing you can do is tag the host closet name in a listing that you think fits the party theme well. I actually didn't have gazillions of people doing that either time that I hosted, so it did stand out, and it was easier to look at a single listing than to browse someone's entire closet for the proper host pick. Finally, make sure you're participating in the evening parties and sharing directly from the feed. Many hosts will save some or a lot of their allotment for the on-spot host picks. Okay guys, is it really worth it? You know, to be 100% honest, I don't really try to get host picks very often. It's definitely a lot of fun to get a surge of likes and comments, but I haven't found that it directly results in a ton more sales. So to me, it's not worth my time to pursue host picks. I see them as this nice surprise when they actually do happen. Truth be told, the concept of host picks was actually introduced to encourage users to be more active in the app during party time. Humans naturally like the element of winning and being validated, so we naturally chase those host picks. Remember, the more people on the app, actively engaged in socializing, and that includes begging for host pics from hosts and sharing their closets, tagging their party page. It's all good for the app because we're all on there sharing and talking and engaging, and it's more likely that you're gonna find something you want to buy, and hey, again, that's just more money for Poshmark, but also potential sales for you.